Hey everyone, it is Risa. Um, Cami calls me the DIY diva coming to you for Make It Monday. I've already shared a few things that are kind of on my mind right now, now that the weather is trying to get warmer, stay warmer. It was freezing this morning when I woke up, but it's actually in the 60s now. So now is the time that a lot of people are thinking about going outside and gardening, maybe taking care of your flowers, or if you have a um, vegetable garden, or fruit trees. So I wanted to come to you and share two recipes that I'm going to be trying out. This will actually be the first time that we do not have an outdoor garden. Um, the first time since I married my husband back in 2002. We decided to give ourselves a little bit of a break and our garden a break because we've used it for um, six years. So we're going to give it a seven year hiatus. Um, to help the soil, but I will be ha using my, um, I have an aeroponic um, tower garden and I'm going to be using that inside to still grow all my greens and my herbs. Um, but I still need some things to deter those critters and um, pesky bugs from my um, plants around our, you know, the flowers and, and things, bushes that we have around our house. So I still need to make this even though we aren't going to have a garden. But I see that Amber joined us and Becky. Hey ladies, I hope you're doing really well. Um, but the first thing I wanted to um, share with you or show you is I'm going to make a garden um, insect deterrent. I just, I just got um, over the weekend the 16 ounce spray bottles, glass spray bottles that, ha that were on sale or they had a great discount if you would become a tester. And it not only came with, and we did share, um, actually I think my friend Missy Goldeisen shared the link, but if it's still available, I recommend grabbing it. Great price on spray bottles. Um, but you get spray bottles with, of course, the little sprayers. And then they also came with these caps, which is really great. If you don't plan on using the spray for a while, or it's gonna be sitting there for a while, because remember this is plastic, you can get these lids to just, um, use it, seal it instead, because the water with the oils is going to last a while. Um, so I thought that that was great. And then it also came with these um, chalkboard labels, eight of them, and a little ch white chalk pen. And let's see, did it, I don't think it came with anything else. Nope, um, but that's a really good deal. So if you did not grab those two spray bottles and you wanna make some sprays, um, look through the post that we posted just a couple of days ago and check that out, see if it's still available. So, um, and we don't get any proceeds or anything from that. We just love sharing deals on um, accessories and things. So, so let's make our um, garden insect deterrent. So I already made my label. Of course, everything's backwards. I always love putting my labels on first so that because I tend to spill and things run over, and then the labels won't stick on. So there's my label for the garden insect deterrent. Now the oils that we're going to be using are of course peppermint. I did share a um, garden spray recipe that just uses peppermint. I like using a few oils in addition to peppermint, but I'm going to teach you what insects and critters these oils deter. So um, peppermint deters a lot of things. That's why this is definitely a must for um, insect deterrent, but it can um, they deter ants, aphids, beetles, caterpillars, fleas, mice, moths, plant lice, I didn't even know that that existed, um, spiders, peppermint is one that I use in a spray bottle, I make that recipe that I shared earlier today and I spray it around my door, doorways and around my windows, especially in the basement, to keep those spiders outside rather than inside. So it deters spiders. It also deters flies, gnats, ticks, and mosquitoes. So that's why peppermint is always a must in um, insect repellent. So I'm going to put in a 16 ounce glass spray bottle, 20 drops of peppermint. And then I just need to sip this. I love, love the smell of peppermint. It's uplifting, it gives me energy, it opens up those airways. Um, so there's peppermint. So that's 20 drops of um, peppermint. 
And then rosemary is the next one that I'm going to use. There's rosemary, which you know the herb. So rosemary is a really good one to actually plant in your gardens. Um, rosemary deters slugs, which can be a problem. Um, snails, snugs, and snugs. Slugs and snails, mosquitoes, flies, and gnats. And we're gonna put 20 drops of rosemary. Okay, 20 drops of rosemary. Again, I'm using a 16 ounce spray bottle. If you need to use something smaller, just adjust the um, drops accordingly. The next oil is thyme. And what thyme deters are beetles, chiggers, and ticks. And I've already found, I know, I know one of my friends, um, actually two of my friends already found ticks on their kids. Um, Alina had a tick in her hair after spending the weekend um, at our family camp. With daddy, I did not send the insect repellent, and I should have, but thankfully it didn't attach itself, and then, of course, the cats as well. So now's the time. Make that insect repellent. I shared, I did that recipe. A couple of make it Mondays ago, so just in our group, put in the search, put in insect um, or tick repellent, and then you'll see what my recipe is for that. If you have issues, can't find it, let us know, and we'll tag you in that video. Um, so now again, thyme, which is good for beetles, chiggers, and ticks, 20 drops of thyme. <clears throat> okay, and one final oil for this garden insect deterrent is clove. And clove deters mosquitoes fleas, ants, and cockroaches. And also it deters bed bugs. Of course, we don't have to deal with bed bugs out in the garden, but that's just an aside. Linda posted about cedar wood for bed bugs. Clove is also good for bed bugs. So I think my son, um, he's going on a missions trip up to a university up near my sister in Philadelphia, even though he can't see her, but they stay in a dormitory and this um, the dormitories mattresses there are well known for bed bugs we were told that they were able to get rid of all of them but i'm sending him a spray to spray down his mattress before he puts down his sleeping bag and sleeps on that just in case and i'm going to do clove and cedar wood in that spray um, so now 20 drops of clove Okay, and that is it. So those four oils, 20 drops each. That was peppermint, rosemary, thyme, and clove. And then I'm gonna fill the rest of my 16 ounce bottle with some distilled water. And then we are finished. Once I have this filled up, then we're ready. We have some fruit trees outside that, of course, the um, insects love. So I'm going to have my husband start spraying this around the, the fruit on those trees. Um, we are, I, we're going to have peaches. Um, it looks like we're going to have some nectarines. I'm hoping that the cherry trees will start to come out. Um, I don't think they have yet. And so then that is it. So there is our garden insect deterrent. So you can, on any plants, flowers, bushes, trees, um, vegetables, all that, just know, since we're using water, um, if you're new to gardening, you don't want to spray in the middle of the day. You wanna spray early morning before the, before the sun um, gets high, or I, actually I prefer to spray at dusk or as the sun is setting or um, a little bit before it's going to set. Of course, you don't want to be out there in the dark, but the water can burn the leaves, um, burn the fruit um, because of the sun and the ultraviolet rays. So always spray early in the morning or later, as I said, close to dusk. 
and you can just spray wherever you need to deter insects, whatever plants you need to do that on or all over. And this is also safe just to spray all over yourself too, <laughs> to keep those away. So there's our garden insect repellent. And then now what I'm going to make, because um, we had an issue with a couple of our plants last year, some, I think it was our, might have been our rhododendrons, they ended up developing a fungus on the leaves. So I'm going to make now a fungus suppressant. And if you've been using oils for a while or have been to our classes, you probably have um, learned that melaleuca is antifungal. And normally when we talk about it, we talk about it for ourselves personally. That's why it's good for nail health, for your fingernails, for your toenails, um, for your skin, for that fungus. It's also really good to, to suppress fungus on plants. So that is the oil that we're going to use today, melaleuca. And in a 16 ounce spray bottle, going to put 40 drops of melaleuca and fill the rest up with water. And then you just spray on wherever the affected or infected areas are. And you can do that. Um, it recommended once or twice a week is what that was recommended. Yeah, once or twice a week. <clears throat> and for the garden insect repellent, I would just say probably once a week, maybe twice a week. If it rains, definitely need to spray after the rain um, comes. So now this is again 40 drops. So one. Okay, so that was 40 drops of melaleuca, and then we're going to fill the rest up with distilled water. And then we're ready to press that fungus on our plants. So if you have any questions at all, just um, reach out to me, reach out to any of us. I love this group, how people are sharing what's working for them, how they're asking questions. We're all one happy, oily family um, to help and encourage and empower each other. Um, if there's any type of recipe that you would like for me to show you how to make, um, also just drop it in the comments or send me a private message. Let me know. Okay, and then we are finished. So made the fungus suppressant. I just need to add a little bit more water to that and the garden insect repellent. So I'm going to share those two recipes in the comments um, after I post, post this live video. I hope that you enjoyed. I know probably most of you are busy right now, so hopefully you'll be able to catch me later today. Again, you need anything, you just reach out to us. If there's a particular recipe you'd like, let me know. I think I might, if I can figure out how to do it, because it does take a little bit of time, I might um, show you how to make some sunscreen since summer is coming, bathing suit season, and um, some non-toxic sunscreen. Um, that's one thing that we made yesterday in my summer essentials class for those of you that were in my area that were able to come. And I know my sister Cami is planning on having one too, but if you aren't able to make it to our classes, um, I'd love to, to show you um, via video how easy it is to make sunscreen and some other things. So if that interests you, tell me yes or no um, about making the sunscreen, and I will try to do that um, th sometime in May. But again, you guys just have a fabulous day, and I will see you next Monday for Make It Monday. Who knows what I'll make next week. I'll take care, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.